following Jesus Christ is not about being a perfect person, but it's about not being separated from him. And it's just certain lifestyles and certain behaviors that we saw in 1 Corinthians 6, 9 through 10 and Galatians 5, 19 through 21. Those are things that will separate you from him. Now there is sin that won't separate you from the true and living God, Jesus Christ. There is, there is two categories. Death, sin, that's that's the things we saw in 1 Corinthians 6, 9 through 10 and Galatians 5, 19 through 21. That's death sin. That means it destroys your salvation and it disqualifies you from being able to go to heaven. And then there's sin that will make your life less abundant. It won't disqualify you from going into heaven. It won't, but it will make your life less abundant think of it this way in our jurisdiction systems here on earth we have different levels of offenses you have offenses that will get you locked up and put in prison and then you have offenses that will get you a fine where you have to pay a fine it's the same thing within the kingdom of God there's certain offenses that will disqualify you from being able to go to heaven that the Lord deems as pure wickedness. And then there's certain offenses where it'll just make your life less abundant. You'll have less than what you could have had within your life. Joy is being stolen from you. Possessions are being stolen from you. Your life could have been up here, but it's down here because of the decisions that you make within your life. Makes your life less abundant. In 1 John 5, 17, it says, All wrongdoing is sin, and there is sin that does not lead to death. So the Lord, he isn't expecting you to be like this perfect person, but he's expecting you not to be separated from him. He don't want you to be separated from him. He came and he died on the cross, so you wouldn't have to be separated from him. And he knows that you are a human being and that he has to help you. But first, you have to make the decision that you want to be helped. You got to make that decision. 